All right, week nine, day two. All right, it says, there is many ways for people to travel if them want to go somewhere. OMG, LOL, emoticon, emoticon. Who can help me fix this nonsensical sentence? Gary Miller. Yeah, so we got to change is to are. And hey, Fred, what is our mantra? What do we do when we edit these sentences? We do what? Read, edit, write. Thank you, Fred. All right, Gary, good, good thinking. Yeah, we're going to change is to are. So there are many ways for people to travel if them want to go somewhere. Uh, yeah. Yeah, change them to they. Yes, yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, there are many ways for people to travel if they want to go somewhere. Now, I see a spelling error. Gretchen, what, what's the spelling error here? What is it? Could you spell that for me? T-R-A-V-E-L. All right. <clears throat> there are many ways for people to travel... If they want to go somewhere. All right. I think that's good. Do you guys see anything else? So it looks like for this one, we have one, two, three corrections. All right. Three corrections there. Now, remember, it's not completed until now we finish the final phase. We've read. We've edited. Now we write it out. Small and accurate. Right. We're all holding our pencils the correct way. We're working on our handwriting. Right? Small and accurate. There are many ways uh, for people to... All right, you got, you get the idea. In London, England, right? That would be a city and country. <clears throat> people ride on red tall buses. Uh-oh, something's out of order there. Right? Something's out of order. Red tall buses. Does that sound correct to you does that sound right red tall buses all right so how should that be all right there's a lot of mistakes here where to, where to begin lots of hands shot up that makes me happy uh leo give it to me now um, on tall red buses yeah so we're gonna go tall red buses yeah i agree okay all right, what else do we see here, though, Annalisa? We need a comma after London. And more importantly, Fred, what do we need to do to London and England because they're proper nouns? They need to be capitals, right? Okay, so in London, England, people ride on tall red buses. I think that's it. Am I? Is there anything else? One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Right, six corrections there. All right, and again, don't forget the final phase. Let's read it one more time. In London, England, people ride on tall red buses. Yeah, we got it figured out. Right. All right. Rewrite the sentence to make one sentence. All right. It says. Some people use animals to go places, period. They ride horses, elephants, and camels. What's a creative way to, to what do we need? we need? We need something here. I always call it something when I say, what do we need to be put before this? What do we call that? Uh, Naomi. What? But would be, but what do we call but? Some people use animals to go places. I don't know that we would want to use the word but, though. It's not – but is called something. But and nor so. What are those called? Gabby. They're called conjunctions. They are called conjunctions, Gabby girl. You're right. Which conjunction should we put there? So. Some people use animals to go places, comma. So they ride horses. Um, mm. Yeah, let's do and. Some people use animals to go places. Get rid of the period, period and add a comma. And let's insert the conjunction and there. Now, what's the, what's the next thing we need to do, though, Vin? Those 
Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what this sounds like. Some people use animals to go places, comma, and they ride horses, elephants, and camels. Does that sound right? Yeah. What's another way to simplify this? <clears throat> Couldn't we just get rid of this altogether and say some people ride horses, elephants, and camels? Yeah. We could. So you could do it one of two ways. You can get rid of unnecessary wording and, and simply say some people ride horses, elephants, and camels, or you could use a comma and a conjunction to join the two thoughts together. Some people use animals to go places, comma, and they ride horses, elephants, and camels. You guys got it? All right, draw a line be be uh, between the prefix and the root word of the underlying word. Then write the meaning on, this, on the line. All right, so school buses transport hundreds of school children each day. All right, what is the root word there? This is a tricky one. What is the, it's a, probably a Latin root, but what is it? Which word? Uh, Bronwyn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom, zoom this in. In transport, which one is the root word? Brand. No. We're talking about, look, look, Bronwyn. Prefix. Prefix means before. We're going to put that before the word. Suffix means after. That will be after the word. Now, so what do you think? Bronwyn, if we know a prefix goes before the root word, where would then the what would the root word be? Port. So the root word here is port. Okay. And so we would draw a line here. What do you think that port means? What is it? Someone said it. Someone whispered it. What is it? Is it you, Fred? Go ahead. What is what does port mean? Someone whispered it over there in your camp. Who said it? Someone said it. I think it was Fred. Fred, what is it? it? So to carry. Good. All right. That is your DLR for week nine, day two in the books. Today out.